It's been relatively nice this morning. Temperatures have been mostly in the lower 70s and we've been all quiet on satellite radar, not tracking any rain or really any cloud cover across the Arkansas area or really across the entire state of Mississippi, Arkansas and Louisiana. The nearest rain to us was mainly down along the Gulf Coast, just to the south of Gulfport and to the east of New Orleans. And there's some heavy cloud cover throughout parts of southern Alabama and through parts of Georgia. But our area is expected to be mostly clear and dry for much of today. We're still in, in the lower 70s in certain parts of the Delta. It's still 73 for Greenville, 72 for Monticello, Arkansas. Got to 74 right now for Greenwood, 73 in Clarksdale. We're over at 70 right now for Winona. It finally got into the 70s in El Dorado, Arkansas mid-70s along the I-20 corridor further to the south. Now, if you have any outdoor plans today, it's going to be warm this morning, and it's still going to feel slightly muggy as temperatures really warm up quickly to the lower to mid-80s by 9 o'clock. And later on this afternoon, we are expecting temperatures to be back to the 90s and looking at mid to upper 90s later on today. It's looking like we're going to see 97 and 98 as the daytime highs today. Unfortunately, it's not going to feel like the actual temperature, the humidity will be high enough to put the heat index just over 100. Now, just shy of heat advisor criteria for the Mississippi Delta, but parts of Arkansas, northern Louisiana, they will see heat indices exceed 105 and be in the upper 100s. And that's why Deshea County, Arkansas is the only county in our viewing area that will be under the heat advisory. But even for the rest of the area, if you're going to be outdoors today, just remember, take frequent breaks from work or exercise, and also remember to stay hydrated. Now, as far as the humidity is concerned, we're going to still deal with that for today and tomorrow. But as we close out the week, going into Thursday and Friday, we'll be more closer to a tolerable, tolerable range. But as we go into Saturday and Sunday next week, we could see that climb back up to a more humid level. But nothing that's going to make you say yikes as you step outdoors, fortunately. Now, we are stuck between two funnel systems, a cold front to the north and a stationary front down towards the south. The frontal system to, to the north, that will approach our area and bring with it some slightly drier air as we close out the week heading into Thursday and Friday. But it's also going to bring the possibility of showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. Now looking at Future Tracker, much of today going to be mostly clear, not expecting hardly any cloud cover later on this afternoon, but it's going to be hot and muggy still. Later on tonight, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms in parts of central Arkansas, but then as we head into tomorrow morning, we'll see showers and thunderstorms throughout parts of northern Mississippi and western parts of Tennessee, but we won't see any activity until later on tomorrow afternoon from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. We'll see showers and thunderstorms form along the I-55 corridor. Won't see much near the Mississippi River, but we could see some of that later on around 5 or 6 o'clock later tomorrow evening as we head overnight. Much of the rain and showers and thunderstorms should clear on out of here. will be mostly clear overnight, but we could still see a few lingering showers for Thursday. Now, looking at the tropics right now, we do have a disturbance just off the Gulf Coast. It's at really just a 10% of a likelihood of any development. It's just a cluster of showers and thunderstorms, but there is an associated low pressure system that's going to be aff affiliated with that. And even if it develops into anything, it's still going to dump a lot of rainfall throughout parts of the Gulf Coast in southern Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and parts of Georgia, but really not going to have that much of an impact for us here in the Mississippi Delta might have some impacts south of 82 if it even gets the up to our area. But again, not expecting too much out of that. It should remain mostly down to the south. Now looking at the extended forecast, we're going to be slightly drier as we close out the week on Friday and Saturday. Temperatures will be right at 90 and continue to stay in the lower 90s as we head into the weekend. But showers and thunderstorms are expected to once again return as we go into Sunday and Monday of next week.